OB Industrial Property Review. Hi, my name is Alan from Alan Wee Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to zoom in on some of the popular industrial properties that investors love to invest in. They are mainly located in OB. They are Vertex, Zervex, and Oxley Business Hub. They are all on 60 years old leasehold and are sold under the government land sale program. We will be talking about their past performance in details. We will also assess if buying industrial properties is a good investment alternative in today's market. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the data. Vertex is a 60 years old industrial building with lease from 2007. It is currently zoned as B1 and TOP in 2009. This means it is 14 years old with a remaining lease of 46 years. It is located along OB Avenue 3 and sit on a very spacious site that measure 415,000 square feet. There are a total of 550 units spread across two tower blocks. This is a typical floor plan with units on each side of a long corridor. This is how it looks from inside with leaves serving the strata units on each floor. The car park area is accessible via a ramp and occupied the lower stories. Here, the current PSF is around 560 per square feet and a typical unit will cost about 800,000. Most units are decent size and measure about 1,464 square feet. There's a total of 226 profitable transactions with profit range from 35,000 to 225,000 based on the latest 10 transactions. On the other hand, there are 69 unprofitable transactions. Losses range from 5,000 to 158,000 based on the latest 10 transactions. Take note, this is not a fair way of comparing as many of the units have already been sold more than once since TOP. But the number of profitable and unprofitable transactions will give us an idea of how well have they fared to date. Anyway, I will also compare its performance from launch to date in the later part of this video. Zervex is a 60 years old industrial building released from 2008. It is currently zoned as B1 and TOP in 2011. This means it is 12 years old with a remaining lease of 45 years. It is located along OB Road 2 and occupies a land area of 135,000 square feet. This is a slightly smaller site as compared to next door Vertex. There are a total of 232 units spread across one tower block. This is a typical floor plan with units on each side of an L-shaped long corridor. This is how it looks internally from the common corridor. The current PSF is around 500 to 600 per square feet, and the typical unit will cost about 600,000 to 800,000, depending on the sizes. Over here, they are significantly more profitable than unprofitable transactions. Osley Business Hub is another 60 years old industrial building with lease from 2010. It is currently zoned as B1 and TOP in 2013. This mean is 10 years old with a remaining lease of 47 years. It is located along OB Road 1 and occupies a land area of 375,000 square feet. It has a superior location and is near Taising MRT Station. There are a total of 728 units spread across 4 blocks. This is a typical floor plan from the 5th to 8th floor. It looks pretty congested in my opinion. Anyway, this is the basement car park side plan. The car park is huge, and if you are not familiar, you may lose your way inside. The current PSF is around 600 plus plus per square feet, and a typical unit will cost about 600,000 to 1.5 million depending on the sizes. The factory units here are generally smaller in size for this development. Let's take a quick look at the profitable transactions. There are 84 profitable transactions to date, with profit varying depending on their sizes and date of purchase. On the other hand, there are 131 unprofitable transactions. What does this mean? Well, a high percentage of buyers that bought on launch may be losing money. Why is this so? Two possible reasons for my observation. Poor design and high entry price. Here, I will talk about the design first. For SME owner, what they want is practical and functional design. Oxley Business Hub is designed in a way with four different tower blocks with a basement car park. 
in my opinion, it looked very modern from the outside, but confusing for visitors to navigate their way inside. Let me pull the three project data out and compare them all together. I will average out the PSF on the respective launch year and compare them with the average resale price in 2023. Vertex average launch price back in 2007 was 443 per square feet. Today, it has increased by 24% to 549 per square feet. Zervex was launched in 2010 at 395 per square feet. The average PSF today is 566 per square feet. This means it has appreciated by 43%. Not too bad, in my opinion. On the other hand, Oxley Business Hub was launched in 2011 and an average price of 677 per square feet, as stated in this article in Property Guru. In that article, I quote, Oxley Holding has set a new price standard in the OB area. 60% was sold during the soft launch at 677 per square feet. Most of the Singaporean buyers purchase multiple units. The price at Oxley Business Hub are believed to be higher than those at other 60 years old leasehold projects in the area which go up to just slightly more than 400 per square feet, unquote. Coming back to 2023, the average PSF is 601 per square feet. This means prices has declined by 5% to date. What does this mean? This means entry price also play an important role in making money in industrial properties. It's the same investment theory for all asset classes. For those who rent out their units, the rental collected who have offset some of the losses. If you are a SME owner buying for your own use, you will have saved on market rental too. It's just that you wouldn't be making more profit than others. In conclusion, what can we learn here? Here, I'm going to share with you four important tips to make money in industrial properties. Are you ready? If you are ready, please help me to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube video so that I can be motivated to make more educational video for all of you. Steady bow. First tips, don't overpay for property. In this case, most buyers who have easily overpaid by 200 per square feet or 40% more against nearby resale factories. If you enter high, the odds of exiting with a profit will be slimmer. So always do your homework well. Don't buy just because they are young and beautiful. Do consider the older one too. Sometimes they may pie also. Second tips, both Vertex and Zervex have benefited from Oxley Business Hub pricing. Their prices were elevated due to this new launch pricing effect. So next time, I'm very sure you will know when to enter. This means buying resale can also make money. Sell them when they hit the peak and, and cash it out. Third tips, Zervex attractive pricing back in 2010 and 2011 should have caught investors' attention. Its launch price was even lower than Vertex resale prices. This means there is room for profit making. Lastly, the last and fourth tip. If you have visited the three projects like I did, I'm very sure you will consider both Vertex and Zervex for their practical and functional design. Spaciousness, decent maintenance, and most importantly, lower price point. That's all. I hope you enjoyed my video. Anyway, if you have any housing plans to sell or rent out your property, please consider to look for me. Thank you.